So this will show you how to set up a simple assignment in Schoology. So by simple assignment, I mean that there's no questions. It's not a multiple choice. It's not a digital quiz. So it's just a place for the students to be able to submit a document to, either a PDF, a Word document, a sound file, something like that. And on your end, on the teacher end, you get to aggregate all of those student files for that particular assignment in one place. So it keeps you organized. So if you go, just go to courses and pick one of the courses that you want to put the assignment in. And if you want to put it in multiple, that's fine. You can do that later. So I'll just click on this class here. Now you can add the, the assignment out here by clicking on Add Materials, Add Assignment. Or if you would like it in a particular resource folder, if you have your stuff set up by units and you want it within that unit, you can do that as well. If you add it out here and you decide you want to move it later, you can do that. So I'm just going to click on Add Materials, Add Assignment, and let's say that the students are doing an American Revolution essay. And Mr. Harvey just wants to collect all of their essays through Schoology all in one spot. You can even add a description here, um, like remember to include your work cited or any other instructions you wish. You can add a file directly to this assignment. So if you have, say, a project sheet that goes with it, you can attach a file by clicking here. Here's how you add a due date, and it's important that you add a due date because this will then show up on the student's calendars. Uh, for this course and in their general calendar on Schoology and it also it gives them a notification so it really helps keep them organized and and you know makes them accountable so let's just add this in here a due date um, you can keep this ungraded for the most part for uh, simple assignments like this unless you plan on grading it through Schoology then you would just put it as ungraded because I'm sure that you'd be you know, physically grading them in some other way and then entering them in PowerSchool. If you plan on entering the grades into Schoology and then pushing them over to PowerSchool, then you can create a category such as, you know, essays or projects and you can enter that. But for the most part, your simple assignments are probably going to be ungraded. And then I just have to click Create. And it brings me to uh, my list with my assignment now added. Now, like I said, later on, if you want to, you can click on the cog next to this, and you can delete it. You can copy to courses. I can move this if I would like to put it in another folder. So if I want to put it in the American Revolution folder, I can. If I want to click copy to course, it's very easy to drop it in all of these other classes or some of them if I would like to. But I'm going to go ahead and click on that assignment now. And this is all that the students will see too. So over here, they'll actually have a button that says Submit. So they will be able to come in here and say, OK, I'm ready to hand in my essay. Click Submit. And from your view, you will then get a list of your, hopefully, 26 student submissions on this list. And you'll be able to easily um, grab them and have them all in one spot. You can even, if you choose to put digital comments in, include digital comments and send them back to them through Schoology. Well, if you have any questions about simple assignments in Schoology, please let me know.